Hi friends, I am Arun Giri. You are most welcome to our channel Technical Answer. Our today's topic is how to read for performance curve. So in this video, we will see what is for performance curve and how to read it. So keep watching this year video up to last and uh, if you have not subscribed the channel, then please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon. So let's start our topic without wasting time. The topics we are going to cover in this video is what is for performance curve, how to read it, and how to calculate pump head and its discharge from curve and then how to calculate motor capacity or power requirement for the uh, pump from the curve and what is the best efficiency point in curve okay so all these topics we are going to see in detail in this video so let's start out with with our first uh, topic what is pump performance curve so our Industrial centrifugal power pump performance curves looks like this. You can see here. Here we are plotting three curves in this pump performance curve. Here, first curve is discharge versus efficiency. You can see here. This the red one is discharge versus efficiency. Then our second curve is uh, head versus uh, head versus discharge. You can see here. Head versus discharge and third uh, curve is output power versus discharge. Okay, this third. So on x axis we are plotting discharge or flow in meter cube per second, second or any other uh, unit and in y axis we are plotting other three parameters that is efficiency, head and output power. These three parameters we are plotting on y axis and on x axis we are plotting discharge that is flow. Okay. So first curve we are going to see is efficiency curve. This is the efficiency curve. Red one is the efficiency curve. So you can see here efficiency curve is a parabolic like curve this curve indicates when we are increasing pump flow you can see here this is the flow when you are increasing flow then our pump is attaining uh, our pump efficiency is increasing it attains highest point at after at certain point and after that when we are increasing the discharge that is flow then its efficiency is decreasing you can see here it attain highest point and then its efficiency decreases okay so this highest point this highest point this highest point is called as best efficiency point okay after that after best efficiency point if we will further increase the discharge then our pump per, uh, efficiency will going to decrease okay then our next curve is head versus discharge this this is what indicates when we are increasing our discharge or flow then our pump head is decreasing you can see here when we are increasing pump discharge then our head is decreasing or vice versa when we are increasing the pump head then our discharge is going to decrease okay so this is the simple curve you can see here then our final last curve is the output power you can see here output power is directly proportional to discharge means when we are going to dis increase our pump discharge then our power requirement is more when we will increase pump discharge then our power requirement will also increase so you can see it is directly proportional to discharge of pump okay now we will see family of curves this curve is plotted for a constant rpm and constant impeller impeller diameter now we will see for different impeller diameter and at constant rpm this this is the family curve this is plotted for a constant rpm and for different impeller diameter last curve is plotted for a constant impeller diameter but this curve this family curve is plotted for different impeller diameters here impeller diameter is not constant in industry we will see curve like this okay so and this is called as family curve so now we will see how to read this family curves in detail in industry we will see curve like this ok so similar way here you can see a pump flow or discharge is plotted on x axis you can see here here flow is uh, plotted in both units gpm and meter cube per hour and on y axis the plotted is head head is plotted head or pressure head is plotted on y axis so you can see here this u type curves 
can see here this u type curves this u type curves are efficiency curve okay you can see here they are 50 percent 60 percent this is 65 percent here 70 percent these are u uh, pump efficiency curves okay and then next curves are impeller diameter curves you can see here this like this lines these are impeller diameter curves this is for 7.25 ampere uh, 7.25 inch this 8 inch 8.5 inch 9 inch 9.5 inch so this is these lines are for const, uh, impeller diameter okay then our next next line is you can see here this is straight lines these are output power requirement you can see here output power lines so now we will see how to read it suppose we require a pump of 40 uh, meter meter cube per hour head sorry 40 meter cube per hour discharge and 20 meter head so for that we are going to see motor requirement and impeller diameter requirement so our requirement is 40 meter cube per hour flow and 20 meter head so we plot a vertical line from here so our 40 meter cube discharge is here you can see here. we will plot one vertical line from here okay then we will see our 20 meter head 20 meter head is here so we draw so we draw one horizontal line from here So this is the, it is not straight, we plot one straight line, okay, so this is intersection point, you can see here, so our, first we will see the pump efficiency, so our efficiency is in between 73 to 75 percent, you can see here it is, this point is coming in, in between 75 and 73 percent line, so suppose we are considering our pump efficiency is 75 percent and then our impeller diameter we will see our impeller diameter so our impeller diameter you can see here this is 8 inch curve 8 inch impeller diameter curve this you can see here this but our intersection point is between 8 inch and 8.5 inch so we will take up upper higher diameter so our impeller diameter requirement is 8.5 inch ok and now we will see power output power requirement so our intersection point is close to this 5 hp you can see here our 5 hp line is here this 3 hp line is below far below the uh, below our intersection point so we will take this 5 hp okay 5 hp so power requirement is 5 hp now we will also see what is the net positive suction head requirement you can see around our this point this line vertical line intersecting with net positive suction head requirement line this is the net positive suction head curve so our this point um, vertical line is intersecting th with this curve here so we will plot one horizontal line from here you will see it is about 3 meter so we need a 3 meter uh, suction head to avoid cavitation in pump this net positive suction head is required for and required to avoid uh, cavitation in pump ok so for to avoid cavitation we need a 3 meter suction head of the pump ok so this is how we are going to calculate our different parameters from the given parameters of pump okay so this is all about the today's video i hope you like the video if you like the video then please press like button subscribe the channel so thanks for watching bye bye and if you have any query then please comment in the comment box so again thanks for watching bye bye